you know, with some donor database products, getting a stack of recently deposited donations can be both a blessing and a curse. While the donation is great, getting that data into the database can sometimes be a real drag. But with Common Ground, we've built in a tool that will save your staff time, ensure correct data entry, and is actually really easy to use. So let's take a look at the Batch GIF Entry tool. So I've got a stack of these 10 checks on my desk, and the deposit slip from the bank says they total $734.25. So now I need to enter these gifts and associate them with the appropriate donor, campaign, and acknowledgement document. So the first thing I do is create the batch. And now I want to pick and choose the columns that will appear on the gift entry form. Let's choose to expose the acknowledgement document and we'll make that required. And let's include the donor ID field. Let's drag it up to the near the top. Great. Now I'll save the layout and go to enter the gifts. So now I've got a spreadsheet with simple features that are going to help save me time. First of all, all of these donations are from individuals. So let's apply the default value for the donation type to all of the donations. And they're all for the same campaign as well. And they have the same designation. Now here's something really cool. If I have a unique ID for the donor, like a record ID or an external ID, I can add it to this donor ID field and Common Ground will find that record and apply it. And what I really like about this is that it doesn't matter if the ID field is an external ID, a Common Ground ID, a Convue ID, or whatever. As long as it's unique, the donor ID search field will find it. See, notice how I've entered two different unique IDs for the same person, and voila, they both pull up Hugo Scott. And now if I don't have an ID, I can quickly search for them, and then choose whether to use that person or another one from the same household. So I can use his record, create a new contact in the same household. If he's an organizational contact, I can promote him to a constituent or I can create a new contact all from right here. So now if I need to, I can turn off my computer, go home, and pick right back up where I left off on another day. But let's fast forward and go ahead and get the rest of this data completed. And now when I think I'm done, I'll click Check Entries and it'll let me know if I've missed anything. Oh, 10 entries not ready. Oh right, the acknowledgement document. So watch this. Since all of these gifts are less than a hundred, I'm going to apply the standard acknowledgement template. But because these gifts are all over a hundred dollars, let's apply our special thank you template. Now when I check the entries, they're all ready to go and I can commit the batch. Now to see the results of my work, let's go take a look at one of these contacts. I scroll down and I see that his two donations which we just entered using the batch tool show up on his list of donations. But wait, there's more. So let's say a week goes by and I've got another stack of checks and once again I've got a tool in Common Ground that will save me time by allowing me to simply clone a pre-existing batch. So this cloning feature saves me time by allowing me to change the name and the amounts but keep the data entry form template that I used before. 
Thus it saves me from having to recreate the same template over and over. And that's it. Thanks for watching this brief demonstration. To learn more, visit www.convio.com slash CRM, where you can register for a free trial of Common Ground, see more videos at your own pace, or schedule your own personalized demonstration. Thank you.